Mount Etna, one of southern Italy's most active volcanoes, erupted overnight, spewing out large amounts of ash and lava. The eruption, which began from the southeast crater, involved frequent and intense explosions. Mount Etna has increased its eruptive activity, with frequent and powerful eruptions originating from the southeast crater. The ongoing eruption has produced two small lava flows that are moving south and east. An ash plume was also observed spreading east-southeastward and causing volcanic ash to fall on the town of Zafirana Etnea. The Volcano Observatory for Aviation's Alert, issued by Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. A video shows the giant volcano erupting and spewing lava down the side of the mountain. The mountain is known for its frequent and continuous eruptions, each accompanied by loud explosions and rumblings. The roars produced by the eruptions were heard in several villages on the slopes of the volcano. A view of smoldering smoke and ash can be seen at the top of the crater. According to the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, the mountain has achieved its cone shape over. Authorities confirmed that the eruption had no impact on operations at Catania's Vincenzo Bellini International Airport. This latest eruption marks the 13th volcanic activity recorded in recent months. Life can't be easy growing up in the shadow of Mount Etna, but Sicily's second city thrives. And it's no wonder, given how fertile the island's east coast is. In the middle of it all, almost completely rebuilt from scratch after a devastating earthquake with the volcano beckoning Meanwhile, Axial Seamount, a giant mound of magma more than a mile wide, looks serene 1.4 kilometers beneath the waves. But don't let its silence fool you. Beneath the surface, pressure is building rapidly, and the signs point to one thing, an imminent eruption. Experts say the mountain is swelling with magma and rumbling. Axial Seamount isn't just another underwater hill, it's a Pacific pressure point. Perched on the Juan de Fuca Ridge, it sits where the Earth is literally splitting apart. When magma rises through the cracks, it doesn't ask politely, it's going to erupt. In 2015, the last time this sleeping giant stirred, more than 10,000 earthquakes shook the seafloor in just 24 hours. Lava gushed for a month, snaking across the seabed for 40 kilometers. Not bad for a volcano that no one can see. But don't expect any fiery eruptions or ash clouds that obscure the sun the volcano is buried under more than a mile of ocean water. In a curious twist, scientists think the moon may be the one calling the shots. Axial's last three eruptions occurred between January and April, right when the Earth was at its furthest distance from the sun. The experts think the moon's tides could be the final culprit. As the moon pulls on the ocean, it creates subtle pressure shifts on the seafloor. And when the magma chamber is already under pressure, that slight tug might be enough to blow it out. When Axial erupts, we might actually be able to watch it happen live. 
Thanks to the regional cable array, a network of cameras and sensors operated by the U.S. National Science Foundation, it could be the world's first volcanic eruption to be broadcast live from under the sea.